Want to know how journalists and newsrooms are using Canva to create snackable social video in a speedy and scalable way? Well, this video is for you. G'day, my name is Jonathan Harley and I lead the Journalist and Newsroom Initiative at Canva. Every journalist knows a strong social video game is essential to your audience engagement strategy, but it's hard without accessible editing tools. We're seeing journalists across news organizations, large and small, well-established and emerging startups use Canva's easy and intuitive video templates and editor, helping them tell their stories faster and more effectively. So. Let's dive in and show how you too can create videos on news brand and on the go. We've asked our videographer, Eddie, to show us how to leverage a branded template and use the Canva video suite to create bite-sized and shareable video content quickly and easily. Hi, I'm Eddie and I'm a videographer here at Canva. Our video suite is perfect for streamlining your content creation workflow, so you can publish bite-sized content to your channel in a matter of minutes. I'll show you how to go from design to delivery, whether you're sitting at your desk or you're in the field and need to publish content on the go. If you'd like to practice your own video skills, we have a workbook to share, which you can use after you've watched this video. Access the mobile version through this QR code or the desktop version via the link in the video description. Let's take a look at how to create content quickly using Canva's video suite in just five steps. We'll leverage the content that Maddie used in her social post on wildfires in episode two and show you how to create compelling video content. Let's jump into Canva. Here we are in the Canva editor. I'll navigate to my brand templates folder and select a ready-made video template. If you would like to know how to create a template, check out episode one of this series. You can set up your templates however you like with logos, brand colors, watermarks, whatever is needed. In this case, I'm going to select one for Facebook. As this is a video template, you'll notice the interface looks a little bit different. We have a playhead here, and where we'd normally have pages, we have clips instead, with their duration indicated in the corner of each clip. When I play this sequence, you'll notice this template comes with preloaded animations and transitions, like this wipe animation here for the text. It also has end frames here, so it's gonna be super simple to create a post out of this. So step one is to add my news content by dropping the video footage into the frame on each clip. In this case, I'm going to use our video library containing thousands of stock video clips. You could also set up a folder for your video team to add their filmed clips into for the design team to access. To access our video library, just click on the videos tab here. If you can't see this tab, just check out the more section in the left menu. So I'll search for wildfires. This clip looks good. I'll drag and drop clips into each slide. The duration of the project is listed here. After adding all those clips, the duration of this project has increased to accommodate the length of the wildfire clips. So step two is to trim each clip to a shorter duration. There are two ways to do this. One is the quick way by dragging the end of the clip like this, or the precise way by clicking on the clip and using the trim tool that appears in the top toolbar. This one is useful because you can navigate specifically to the part of the shot you would like to use. You can also set a specific duration for the clip here, for example, three seconds. I'll go make the rest of the clips a similar length. So our full story is now 20 seconds long. Now we're ready for step three, updating the copy on each clip, which I'll do now. Done. Step four is to add audio. We have a stock library of music and sound effects, but you can also upload your own files, such as a voiceover. In this case, I've recorded a voiceover, which I'll grab from the uploads tab here. To start the audio at the beginning of the project, I'll place the playhead at the start and drop it on the timeline. Breaking news. You can then adjust the clip duration as needed to suit the narration. Great, now we have a narrated story with captions which are perfect for those watching with sound turned off, which is around 84% of people on Facebook. You can also add multiple audio layers. So for example, I'd like some background music, so I'll search for some here in the audio tab. I'll drop this track onto the timeline. It will default to the length of your project and you can then click and drag the track to select the portion of audio you'd like to use. You can adjust audio volume here so that the tracks don't compete with each other. And you can adjust the audio on your video clips just like this crackling file. 
Finally, I'll add in a consistent sound effect of flames just running throughout the whole project. When you're happy with your project, step five is to share it with the world. Do so by clicking the share menu here to download, share, or schedule to any of your previously connected social accounts. So that's how you create content from the desktop, but did you know you can also create video content quickly and easily on your mobile using the Canva app? This is perfect for journalists in the field who may have shot footage on a phone and want to upload directly from their device. Let's take a look at that. So here I am in the mobile app. Again, I'll navigate to brand templates and this time I'm gonna choose a Twitter video template and hit use template. So imagine I'm at a rally or a protest march. I filmed some footage on my phone and I've already uploaded it from the phone's camera roll into the Canva app. I'll grab a clip and drag one into each frame of the template. I'll then trim them down to three seconds. Ever, whoever, whoever. Then I can update the text. You can zoom in by pinching in and out to see more clearly on a small screen. Next, I can add audio and trim and edit that as needed. Then publish. You can see that you can quickly publish to any of your social media, including Twitter. So you see you can really quickly put the footage together in a consistent branded way and upload to social within a matter of minutes. Now you and your colleagues are all set to create compelling social content, whether it's snackable video, for breaking news, or quote cards. Canva's got you covered. And as important as social is, it's only part of the story. We know that email newsletters have become an essential ingredient to engaging audiences in meaningful ways. And Canva can help there too, which is what you'll learn about in the next episode. See you soon.